The Aryans were tribal nomadic people who came to India in search for a better land. They first decided to settle here in the Sapta Sindhu region. Sapta means seven and Sindhu meaning rivers. This area had seven rivers. Indus, Jhelum, Chenab, Ravi, Bias, Satlaj and finally Saraswati. So this is where the Aryans settled in the Vedic age. This Vedic age is further divided into two halves, the early Vedic period and the later Vedic period. The entire Vedic age is from 1500 BCE to 600 BCE. So during the early Vedic age, this is where the Aryans had settled. However, after leading a good life and after their population increased, they decided to migrate to southwestern portion and this is where they came. The Ganga Yamuna Doab. As you can see the rivers Ganga and Yamuna here. This is where the Aryans lived during the later Vedic age. So let's see what happened then. The later Vedic age was from 1000 BCE to 600 BCE. And during this later Vedic age, a new development took place. What was that? Well, you see, complex and expensive rituals, like you can see in this picture here, became a part of the Aryans' lives. How did this happen? Well, the priests during that age, they convinced everyone that such complex and expensive rituals were necessary. And so, the Aryans during the later Vedic age started conducting such expensive and complex rituals. So, what happened after that? Well, you see, many people now started questioning these complex and expensive rituals. As you can see here, one guy is asking, why are we performing such sacrifices? Other one wanted to know about life after death. So, many of these thinkers felt that there was something permanent in the universe that would last even after death. So what happened after this? Well, you see, then the Upanishads came as a rescue, right? So as we saw that many people wanted to know if there was something permanent in life, right? So they described it as the Atman or the individual soul and the Brahman or the universal soul. This came to us in the Upanishads. They believed that both the Atman and the Brahman were in fact one. Along with that, what does Upanishad mean? Well, it literally means approaching and sitting near. So approaching and sitting near your guru or your teacher and then learning new things about it, right? These contain conversations between teachers and students. And so the ideas that were there in the Upanishads were presented through simple dialogues so that people can understand it better. Now, it is said that many of the Upanishadic thinkers were men. However, there were also mentions of women thinkers such as Gargi, whom you can see here. She was such a philosopher that sometimes her questions even baffled other male philosophers of that age, right? Here, she can be seen in a philosophical debate between Rishi Yajnavalkya, that is this man, and herself. So, from this, we can understand that women also had the freedom to attend such meetings at that time. Now, let's learn about a story of a boy which comes to us from the Upanishads. This was the story of Satyakam Jabala, who had taken his mother's name, who was a slave woman, instead of his father's name. This was a very rare thing to do during that age. So, from an early age, he was very interested in knowing about the world. So, what did he do? Well, he wanted to learn under a guru, which was Guru Gautama. So, one day, he went to the guru and asked if he could be his student. The guru asked him, well, first tell me who your father is. To that, he says that I do not know that. So, the guru asks him, to ask that same question to his mother. To that, the boy replies that I do not know who my father is and neither does my mother and that is why I have taken my mother's name. By seeing Satyakama's honesty, the Guru was really fascinated and decided that yes, indeed, he was going to teach him. Later on, he, Satyakama Jabala, went on to become one of the greatest thinkers of that age. 
from this story we can understand that even 3000 years ago honesty was rewarded to learn more about this story click on the link for the i dictionary feature coming to an end we can understand that the upanishads played an important role in the development of spiritual ideas in ancient india marking a change from rituals and sacrifices to new ideas and institutions we can also see that upanishads teaches many philosophical and moral principles it made such an impact that even today people in india and abroad read about the upanishads so we can understand that its impact was so big that even today people in india and abroad read the upanishads to find solutions to various different problems that exist in current society don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon you can also register for free on deltastep.com or download the delta step app and get easy access to more than 5000 amazing videos as per your school syllabus master each topic with our adaptive practice technology get million plus questions with step by step solutions and unlimited mock tests get all your doubts resolved instantly learn via games and get a chance to win amazing prizes like playstations and ipads so at delta step learning is not just fun and easy it's rewarding too so register for free now